Hey everybody, welcome back to Champ and Sons and our Planet Zoo series as we are back in the Austin Zoo. We're in an indoor building, essentially. Uh, it's 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 really more for some kind of creepy, crawly type things. Uh, you know, we're talking spiders, scorpions. Um, I think I got a Gila monster in there. Big ass lizard, basically. Let's just face it, that's what it is. And so that's that's what we're working on today. It is going to be a primarily interior building. I am putting a second level on it, which will look out into the... be kind of the backdrop for the habitat that's going to be right next to it. I still haven't decided what I'm going to put in that. Um, so let me know in the comments, what, what do y'all think should go right next up against this building? I, I'm not thinking a major animal, so probably one of the smaller ones. Um, but just put it out in the comments, what do you think we should add in next? What's the next animal that we should thrust into this zoo? And it will probably work on trying to get that done this weekend. I have not decided if we're going to do a live episode this weekend or not. Um, I'm thinking about it. It'll be the first time going live that I've ever done uh, so let me it's really kind of one of those things let me know what y'all think should we go live with Planet Zoo and and really what animals should we include what should we add into it what um, what can we add to our zoo to add some personality to it to give it a good you know a little flow um, coming off from this is kind of a brand new section I want to lead this into essentially what would amount to the big cat area you know we're talking lions tigers um, you know, panthers or jaguars, whichever one they have in there, and snow leopards and stuff like that. Uh, so let me let me know what y'all think on that um, and where we should kind of go with it for here. And so taking a look at the construction right now, you're probably asking yourself, what is it that we are building? Why why is it why is the roof of this looking so goofy? Um, I really wanted to do basically what would amount to kind of a old and new feel essentially right so you know we have the the old with the concrete bottom that's more of an older building style with a new wood on top um, to give it that I guess fresher appearance uh, and, and I think it actually works out really well in the end as we go through put some of these supports in kind of dress it up quite a bit now there were some things I had to it took me to figure out from watching others <laughs> from other videos about putting in these little uh, habitat type setups not you know the, these small little scene ones not being able to build a massive one yourself and so really you start building around it and this is one of the first times I can safely say in whether it be Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster I, I try to go more all out with not, not so much construction, but I, I would guess I would say decorations on it. Um, this is kind of just a gap filler because it does look kind of goofy uh, with just those open spaces. So I'm trying to measure up these boards to go down the corners and kind of cut it off. So I don't know, it just seems like it gives it that semi messed up construction type feel, but it looks pretty good to me. I, I really enjoy how it comes out in the end. So if you're looking at it right now going, that just looks beyond ridiculous. I promise you, give it some time, let it grow on you, and I think you'll end up feeling kind of the same way I do with it. Um, and this is something that it's got an indoor down below. You know, I thought, I think you probably saw about what five or six habitats down below, and we only got two up top. Uh, so it, it's really, it, it's not meant to be like a solid transition. It's I'm not gonna lie, it's basically just semi kind of face filler, space filler, um, to to bring in to kind of bridge that gap from the main entrance portions of the zoo over to this new section um, that is going to eventually lead into the big cats, right? So that that's what this building is, and getting these things lined up was just a major pain. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not a perfect match. Um, I do try to kind of cover it up to where it's, things are kind of hidden some, you know. Uh, but th that was just painstaking. 
Um, the vid the footage you're seeing right now is sped up about eight times, give or take. So if you see you moving just these pieces of wood and going, well, that looks kind of slow. Yeah, it's eight times faster than what it was really taking. So that, that should give you an idea of <laughs> what kind of what it took to really get these things put in there. And I I don't know if it's just the Z tool or um, you know the advanced move tool, but nothing ever Planet Zoo. It all seems to match up only really to like one, maybe two axis, but it's trying to separate that out. And it makes things kind of hard to put in. It makes it a little goofy. Like you see, it doesn't really totally match up there um, just because the angles are kind of off. But I, I do kind of cover that up in the end. And I think we cover it up pretty decently for what we have going. Um, so that that's... I. I like I said, this was mind numbing, but I do I did appreciate how it actually turned out, and being able to transfer it from one side to the other, you know, the the single board going along the angles was a little bit easier than getting all of these things to transfer over there. That just wasn't really seeming to work out all that great for me. Um, but having done it once, it made it just that much easier to do it again. You know what I mean? So I, I can't really fault anything on that aspect, and probably if I had gone a different angle with that wood as I'm looking at it doing this voiceover right now looking at the recording I could have done this in a much simpler way but I'm not going to get into that can't live in the past on it just gotta just gotta move on you know what I mean just gots to move on from it uh, and this is just some basic wood border around like I said I, I've never been that great at doing detailing color schemes and all that so I'm really kind of giving that a shot in this zoo for the first time. Um, I, I really like how it's starting to look. And I know it has been a while since we've been in Planet Zoo. Uh, and, and I can safely say, you know, this game, it, it requires a lot of inspiration and all, I guess you could say, and all that getting into it to, deter, to decide to do a build. Um, it's so tedious that that's just man if, if you're not feeling it you can try to build something but it's just not going to come out the way you really want it to and so you actually get those moments of inspiration and i had gotten back into watching some guys and some of their series that they have going whether it be planet zoo planet coaster one of the two and that and that kind of helped you know feed the beast in terms of wanting to get back into this series and get back into the zoo um and, and so that's what we're kind of looking at in terms of the inspiration to get back here <laughs> you see I was just trying to flip it around just like I did with the one single board or single set going down the angles trying to just get those things to flip just nothing I did ever seemed right so here giving it another shot and I think I kind of more or less got that one lined up pretty decent uh, once again, it here it just requires left, right, down, right, left, right, down, up, left, boom, fit in. Okay. And so something new that we are going to see is I start building, I want to say some more custom signage. Uh, they're not really real signs, right? But they're, they're kind of signs for fitting around, um, around the building on the inside. Informational type signs, I guess you could say. So you will be getting to that in just a minute. Um, this is the outdoor patio area. I would figure, you know, whenever we take a look at zoos, like I said, Austin, our zoo is more of a rehab one, so I don't have a whole lot to go off of. And it's been probably, shoot, I don't know, 15, how old am I? Yeah, 15 years since I've been to a zoo like the Fort Worth Zoo in Texas um, and even longer since I've been to the San Antonio Zoo so I, I can safely say I don't know too much about you know looking at their layouts um, how much you know planners and all that they put around but that's something I really wanted to make a focus for this zoo because I do think putting planners in some some of these buildings will make it look better and so it's kind of just outlining the spots of one where am I going to put that at um, and two, what else am I going to put in these sections to kind of fill in some of these blank spots here so it's not just a wall with plants all around. And I figured vending machines. I've never really used them, but they fit perfectly into these little corners. Um, 
And so that's what really started going with those, and just trying to squeeze them in. Because, you know, you got to figure anytime you're really at a place and you got some of these internal buildings and all that stuff, you're really looking at their odds of them having a vending machine or something in there is a, it's a pretty safe bet. So we put some of these up to kind of give guests a reason to come up to the top while they will have the exhibit up there. Um, that's just, you know, this is just kind of one of those more things. That's, I, I think at least for the way the peeps work, it'll draw them up. Um, even if it's, you know, the small little exhibit, vending machines will do it. One thing I guess I could say Planet Zoo got, or the Planet series from Frontier got right about it, about people at least, is you offer them food or drink, they will come. And come up indeed, they do. Uh, we will get to that a little bit later in the episode. You'll start to see a live portion. As I'm building this, um, it kind of cuts out at one point because I completely forgot whenever I was doing the recording that it records in two hour segments only so what you're looking at right now even at this stage is still within it's going to take you a little bit um, it's going to take you a little bit um, it's going to take you a little bit um, it's going to take you a little bit um, and so this is getting to the point where it's just kind of trying to fill in some of these gaps here on these corners uh, to make the building whole I guess is the best way to say it and so we're filling in those gaps getting some of these planters down I do put the natural log wooding border around it one it makes it look better I truly think it does and um, it just gives it a little bit more of a purpose now the plants and planet zoo I'm not sure which ones are recolorable. You know, if y'all know, let me, let me know down in the comments. And I think these might be um, that I'm putting in. And so I figure, man, just hammer in some of these. It'll look real good. Change up the color scheme on them. Uh, man, it turns out not to be as good as I thought. And so eventually you will see us get rid of these things here in just a minute, actually. But, and actually, I can tell you right now we're coming up on what would normally be the two hour mark um, for what it took to make these recordings. So what I started doing in the planners in general, and this is for most of what you'll see around our zoo, it's not just filling in the whole dang thing with plants all the way through, um, but it's just seeing some of the mulch there and just adding some plants to kind of spill, fill in some of the space. Well, so you know it's still, hey, this is obviously not a natural planner, but it's something we're doing to kind of keep a green type of initiative going on around here so you're not just looking at a concrete uh, base, essentially. And after letting my mind go numb and wander on the plants, I decide to move over to kind of finish up some of the stuff on the building. And that is... I. Honestly, I enjoy it. I really didn't think I would um, going into the Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster series, but I really do enjoy adding these little details to it. Um, if y'all see any of these buildings in here that you think, hey, maybe let's suggest changing something up, changing a, a look of it, a layout, just let me know down in the comments. I'm more than willing to make changes, uh, especially if it's something that you know we look at and we're like, okay, I, I can definitely see how that would work out. Um, and, you know, I've got no problem doing what we can to make some changes on that. So now just adding in a couple more of the vending machines. Once again, that's just to draw peeps into the building. I know the exhibits will do it, but they're not going to be very high point exhibits, right? And, you know, they're smaller in general. And so uh, now I couldn't even select the dang vending machine after putting it in. Finally got them selected and got them out so I can put my walls back in and um, just remove those vending machines from there because it didn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. I, I do think they are still needed just for the fact they bring people in. And the next thing, once I kind of got the layout of it, I wanted to figure out what we also have some space what that looks like. And then we also have some space what that looks like. And then we also have some space what that looks like. And then we also have 
some spits what that looks like. And then we also have some spits what that looks like. And then we also have some spiders going and scorpions. And I, I really like how they end up looking. They are a pain in the butt to try to find though whenever you go up to these things. If y'all know any tips or tricks into locating them, please let me know. And um, just for the fun of it, really. I do add in a pretty decent mix. And one of the things I finally started looking at is the Zoopedia stuff to see what, how many people, how many of these things can are allowed inside of these um, exhibits. Just because you know one of them is almost impossible but if you have multiple in there it just makes it that much better and so that's what i'm doing actually right here i had the one in it now i'm just trying to find my zoopedia stuff again and there we go so i'm going ahead and add in another one i try to just keep a male and a female i don't need people to come in and watch bug fights animal fights just because we have a couple males that want to try to prove you know they swing the biggest stick basically so that, that's what my thinking on it was. And instead of making all sides of these exhibits be, um, you know, like the display, I first started looking at just having a couple of the windows closed and let's open up the backdrop. Because really that display is not so much for the animals. I can't imagine that being so much for the animals. So uh, it made the displays really for the people, for the peeps coming in to look at it. And... Man, you know, I've, been, I've had the release of it, but it was a couple weeks after the release that I decided to get it. Not since the release of it, but it was a couple weeks after the release that I decided to get it. Uh -huh. Got that cement pole sticking through there that I just noticed. I'm going to have to fix that. Well, okay. That'll be fixed later on. No worries. All off-camera stuff. Um, but yeah, now I just forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the backgrounds and all that. And the windows. You know, they, I don't think a scorpion cares. The inside looks fine. The humidity, all that shit's, all that stuff, excuse me, set proper. So I can't imagine that being too much of an issue for them. It's really just for the peeps that that looks like that. Um, I, I think it looks good. I'd prefer it that way. Close out two of the windows instead of having all three of them, you know, be something that they're really not. And so here I am putting up the education boards. Now, you have no idea it took me i think it wasn't until i started watching um a series for it was like coaster monkey studios started doing a planet zoo like franchise playthrough thing from when you first start out the game and stuff and it wasn't until then i learned the little the smaller little speaker box looking things are the education for these exhibits and i was putting up the habitat ones so you'll see i start testing out clicking on this thing i'm like looking at the habitats well where the hell are they why why is this not listed on here well it's be because i'm an idiot is what it amounts to <laughs> it came to that so i'll remove all of those uh boards i am going to go back through and add in the exhibit education setups um and so at this point i decided to start making the move towards building these things um Removing those, let me start just building up some essentially fake educational boards after I get this thing all dressed up and looking good. Uh, so yeah, see, still pissing me off. There they go. They're being deleted right there at that moment. So, all right. And now you may be sitting here thinking, well, what in the hell is he doing putting up all this damn vine, all this damn vinage on these buildings? To be fair, it's really just what I like. And now is where you're also seeing another little jump in the recording as far as the sign goes. <laughs> That's sitting there on the wall that I'm lighting up right now. Um, as I, It stopped recording. It stops recording in two-hour segments. And once that does that, I generally tend to forget that I was recording in the first place. Because I think this building took me probably a good five hours worth of work. And, you know, it's not even the most super detailed building in the world. And that's what it, it took me that long to build it. So you saw a pretty nice gap. Or you didn't see a pretty nice gap, actually. I guess is what I should say. Um, there where <laughs> it, it just wasn't recording anything until I caught on to it. And then finally start the recording back up. So there's, there's another little segment. 
Uh, but that, that's why you can see this massive jump in what was being done versus what is being worked on right now. And, and like I said, the, these up top sections, everything down below is spider, scorpion, centipedes. These two guys up top are the Gila monster and I forgot which other lizard thing. Um, and so now I'm just trying to make these exhibits look a little bit better from the front side because it is just a basic black box as you can see. Uh, and I'm just trying to mess around with colors. In my mind, color matching and all that stuff just doesn't really gel together. So I just go with colors that I like. I like green. I like black. I like some blues. You know, stuff like that. So that, that's what I was thinking about. Uh, these are lizard and frog. I guess they're, Well, they're lizard signs from the Australian pack. And that's what I ended up going with. Um, I think they look really great. These are not Australian lizards, except for maybe the Gila monster, I'm not too sure. Um, and then, I, as far as education goes, I put up those massive education boards because I figured that would look better um, since I couldn't figure out that the exhibit ones are those little boxes that, like I said, are going to go back in there. And then I try to bring the little boards from the front that have all the same type of education stuff about conservation, deforestation, and all that. And so then I decided, well, Planet Zoo has some of that new font stuff in it. I really like how it looks. And I've seen some people build signs like this before. And so I started building my own custom sign for it. And um, well, it just this one speaks about conservation. There's one inside the building about spiders. And it's all the basic same thing. So use the font for conservation, put up a couple of the signs, and then take the small little triangles and just where the front little tip section barely sticks out, just start sliding them over, copy and paste, copy and paste, advanced move tool. Uh, and that's how these things got kind of constructed. I forgot who I saw do that first, but I've seen a few builders end up doing that overall that, you know, that play this game generally and are a lot better at it than I would say I am so I have kind of taken that from them and learned it from them and I think this turned out pretty well I really do it's going to take some fixing up but it's something that I, I'm really actually proud of as far as when I take when I talk about custom signage and so we're going to kind of jump into doing some more of the decorations using some more of the animal signs um, covering up some of those finer points and, and like I, said, I really like how this stuff turns out it it really works out in the end um, so I'm definitely proud of that and now we're almost done with this build with the footage that was recorded for it <laughs> so you can see there's the spider sign and all that so we're about to jump into some walkthroughs of it some finishing of the some minor decorations um, on the outside and some of the inside and so I'm going to leave it off here and kind of let this thing finish out. Like I said, you will see walk through daytime and nighttime coming up here at the end of the video. So what's, I definitely hope you all have enjoyed it and uh, will continue to enjoy the Planet Zoo content that we're going to continue to put out in the channel. And so just once again, if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, I would definitely say go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you did like today's video and you really like Planet Zoo, uh, and even Planet Coaster, hit the thumbs up button. One, we really do appreciate it here at the channel. It really does help us out. Um, and it just lets us know that, hey, people are watching the content. Like I said, if y'all have any suggestions, put that stuff down in the comments. And I will do my best to get that stuff incorporated into uh, our zoo. So that's where I'm going to leave y'all off with these final little decoration designs before we go into the walkthrough of it. And I will see y'all in the next episode, everybody. So thank y'all for joining us. And I will catch y'all later next time. So as always, everybody, stay safe. And well, you know how it goes. Later, y'all. <laughs>